Good day, it is day 11. And I slept in today. Slept in. I did wake up super early, around six o'clock, and then I took care of some stuff and then somehow went back to sleep and woke up just now, midday. So, I don't know what happened, but I think I was so relaxed from yesterday's body scrub and I had a long day since I was out and about grocery shopping and had lunch out for a little bit and I think that got me a little exhausted. Day 11 and I am almost done with my 20 liters of water jug and I have two left so oops I need to make coffee listening to a podcast, The School of Greatness, with Louis Howe. And of course, the vitamin C. You're supposed to get a thousand milligrams a day, but again, I have to split it up. I have to use a Ziploc because last time or yesterday, I had put it in this and it got really hard. So let's see if putting it in a Ziploc will work. And then I'll just fold it up. And see how that works. Today's day 11. Um, as I mentioned yesterday, the manager for the apartment compound has informed me that we cannot have any more visitors not like i had any visitors but no visitors um pretty much no going out of the compound i did go grocery shopping yesterday so that was a good thing um so i think it's like complete lockdown for us here now um the housekeeper is not going to be coming anymore my home for the next I don't know how long aka meditation retreat so this could go really good or really bad and I think I've been doing fairly well keeping myself busy plus I get to focus on I'm being more proactive with making the videos and that's keeping me busy I'm kind of behind right now I think I'm behind like two or three days which is fine now I get to focus um, working out a little more and yoga continuing my meditation um, getting better since the other day um, the other day was really rough for me because um, I just didn't know where I was gonna be here or there or go or not go or prepare for anything and that was very stressful for me um, but as of today it's getting tighter and I fully support um, the decisions that they're making um, I will abide by it I just want 
us all to stay safe and be safe and stay healthy because it takes a village to keep things safe, right? Now it's like the whole world. We have to work together so that this thing can dissipate and be gone and we can get through it. Um, what else? So today I started this new goal for myself. I don't set many goals, but today I start actually I started it last night. I did some push-ups last night. Um, I did 30, 36 push-ups, 36 push-ups, but on my knees because my toe, I had foot surgery, so I can't really bend my toe. Um, and it really hurts, it's just so tight. So I have to do the knee one, and I know it's a lot easier, but since it's easier, I'm gonna try to do 100 in a day. So I'm gonna split it up into five sessions. Um, I did 20 this morning, and then I have four more sessions. I guess not this morning, this afternoon, because I didn't really, yeah, you know. All right, so I think getting out of this, we're gonna be more focused. We're able to reset ourselves. I feel like this is like a resetting thing of our lives because there's so much I wanted to do and wasn't able to do and now it's like I'm grounded and I have to focus on these things or else I'll go insane. So it's just like more of self-care. Well, somehow the camera turned off earlier. I am loving this weather. Look at the breeze. This is great. dishes away but I also wanted to show you that I also recycle my Ziploc bag so I put apples in it the other day because I don't have a lot of Tupperwares but after I used it I rinsed it and now I can reuse it again still perfectly fine recycle reuse reduce Especially in a country like this, um, third world country where their sanitary system is not so well and there's plastics everywhere, it's really nice to just try to reduce as much as possible, especially plastic. Why is this not zipping? <laughs> Can this not be reduced? Here's my second set of knee push-ups. I have to get to 100 today, so 20 for now. <laughs> that was actually hard. <laughs> Three more sets. There's a killer, but it's laundry day. I didn't get to do it yesterday. So here we are. My pillowcase for my hamper. And in everything goes. So I came up to do my laundry and look what I encountered. I've always seen this bag and it's charcoal look that's so cool they use a coconut to scoop the charcoal and there's a barbecue grill up here so barbecue during quarantine Nice view. I like that. I don't know how that 
that works though. This will be my third set. I'm gonna try to get to 20. The second set was pretty hard. <laughs> I haven't done push-ups in a long time. And I did 33 yesterday and I'm gonna try to get to 100 today, but I'm splitting it apart. I'm still waiting for my clothes to finish spinning upstairs. So I might as well get this in. I'm back in the laundry room and I just wanted to share that in this laundry facility each laundry machine and dryer is different and I've mentioned this before and each one has different characteristics I feel like they're my children every time I come up here they're being moved around these two are new I don't know where they came from sometimes they feel like working sometimes they don't today might be working perfectly fine the next time it would be a mess. Hence, so this one should have been done a long time ago. It's been an hour and a half, and I came to get the clothes out, and it was soaked. So the spin didn't finish. See, what did I tell you? A mine of its own, and usually this one is the one that works well. So I've learned to, especially with the dryer, to start it before I throw my clothes in because a lot of times I would throw my clothes in and then it doesn't work and then I have to find one that actually works so let's try this one there's stuff on top so that means it probably worked before it works all right I will use it and this is usually the good one last time I tried it I just kept going and then I smelled burning stuff so they fixed it. Cool beans. Okay, this is my fourth set. I'm already feeling sore right here. I don't know if I could do it, but I'm gonna try. One more set right before bed and that'll be 100. Okay, so I didn't do it in one day because it's after midnight and I'm just about to go to bed. So I have 20 push-ups left to do to get to 100. This is going to be my fifth I'm sore already. I know I'm pushing myself and I'm gonna feel it tomorrow, but I'm gonna do it. And a hundred, get to a hundred. Let's see if I can actually. <laughs>
Gum drops. Now I can go to bed. I'm gonna feel it, but it's okay. Toodles, noodles. What do I have to say about today? Today's day 11. Yes, yes. Well, I've been talking to my friends back at home in California. They're really taking it hard. There's a lot of misconceptions and stuff about the coronavirus and. I think it's just very important not to follow social media and the news so much. I mean, it's okay to follow it, just make sure you get the right information because there's a lot of wrong information out there and it's very important to educate and just know um, that everything you see out there is not for real. Um, and I recommend the World Health Organization their information is pretty accurate um, just about what to do what not to do the information how things just it's more factual information about what the findings are other information is not here yet but there's actually truth to what they're saying because it's research based and stuff so just be cautious. All right. Um, stay strong, y'all. Toodles, noodles. <laughs>